Hello everyone, welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today's video is uh, Unicorns in Love versus Sticks and Balls. Um, it's an EYG Open uh, war. It was really close, a really, really tight war and really exciting. And uh, so I just thought I'd upload the um, the stream um, so you can get a bit of a flavour. I've done this before, but you get a bit of a flavour of what goes on in my streams. And uh, yeah, if you want to give me a follow on Twitch and come and join me over there, that'd be awesome as well. Um, but yeah, enjoy the video and uh, enjoy the multiple three stars. Cheers. The EYG Cup. There's, it's oh here we go we've got hits going in already the, it, the sponsors that are all down there uh, Clash Champs is sort of like the main sponsor let's watch Elf going in on Prince of Dubai Unicorns I love wait we need to do the vote so there's only a few of you but let's do the poll we've got the the hybrid coming in already. We've got some messed up um, walls here to throw off the wall breakers. I think we're getting all right. Who will win? I'm going to do UOL or SND. There we go. So there's not many of us in the chat, but let's have a vote. Let's see who we think we're going to win. And then give us a score as well. What do you think? Queen gets a CC. Got a bit of a messy pool there, but she should. Whoa. She gets one of the headhunters and then retargets. Super Ball Breaker is going to come in and open up the access into the, um, into the the um, town hall. Is this? I think that's where they wanted it to go. I'm not sure. Probably going to see the Siege Barracks up the top here, I think. You're thinking Unicorns of Love for the win. Uh, I think I'd have to go with that as well. I'm going to vote for them as well. I'm hoping to see a 3-star, so I'm hoping to see like a an 11, 12. That would be quite nice. There we go. So the Siege Barracks in at about 4 o'clock. So really trying to push for this healer switch. Freezes up the Royal Champ and the Expo and the Scatter Shot was the main one there. Getting the Scatter Shot and the Royal Champ at the same time. Nice early uh, Warden ability. Gets a lot of troops covered in that. And actually these troops going into the Royal Champ. And then triggers that um, that Tornado Trap with one hog. One hog. That's massive value out of that. This is looking like a 3 star. So we've voted for Unicorns of Love. Um, for... Gonna get held up a little bit on this king. We've got a couple of infernos to go, and oh, there's a couple of double giant bomb there. A couple of giant bombs and the wizard tower. Queen pops her ability early to get her into that inferno and absolutely batters it. Freezes over the inferno and wizard tower. This is opening up with a three star for SNB. So this is what we're talking about. These these guys know how to hit. Both clans know how to hit. Know how to hit here. Guys, if you've got the emotes, if you've got any emotes at all, get those uh, get those GGs, get those three-star emotes in the chat. Let's smash a bunch of GGs in. Wow. Okay. Let's look at what the other what the other attack was looking like. So that guy's had whoa, both sides coming in with a three-star. Mark, hello man. Mark all hail EYG. I didn't I hadn't appreciated your full name there. That's awesome. Um no worries, Arjun. Sorry, um, you'll not be able to catch the um, catch the Beatatron thing. We'll just watch this one back. Oh, no, we've got live hits going in. We'll come back to that one. We want to watch the lives, though. Okay, so Mario Kart and going in. So it's three stars all at the moment. This is what I mean. It gets proper intense, man. So we've got five zaps on this one. Probably going to be zapping a scatter shot. There's a scatter shot and getting one of the expos out. I don't know if he was maybe waiting for the queen to come around, but decided to not bother waiting any longer. One Yeti. At 11 o'clock to um, clear out some of that trash. Queen Walk is going to come in and going to target this town hall. Mark, are you playing in this? Or are you just helping to organise it? That's what I want to know. With the all hail EYG. 
Siege Barracks down and starting quite early with the hybrid, trying to force the Queen. Sir Clash a lot, welcome to the stream, trying to force the Queen up back towards the Town Hall. She's targeted that, um, those, uh, CC. Oh, she's working on... She's going to stay up with those, uh, with that race. She's going to be okay. The Headhunters have gone down. She got really close to being low there. The poison's been used already. We've got another hit going in. We'll go and jump on that one. You're in the rookie division. No worries, man. That's good. Uh, so there was a rookie division match happening at exactly the same time, annoyingly. So I couldn't, I decided, I couldn't work out which one to cover. I wanted to cover Unicorns of Love. You see, lot, they've got, they've got a lot of hype around them at the moment. And uh, yeah, I wanted to, wanted to see what they were all about. And we're seeing some uh, nice hits at the moment. Two, three stars to open up. And now we've got, um, this is looking strong. I don't know if it's going to be a three star. The queen is kind of doing a bit of a number in the middle there. I don't think we've got enough to get into this Inferno Tower. It's going to be a high percent two star. And there was another hit that went in as well, wasn't there? We might stick with this just a little bit longer until we're 100% sure what's going on with it. Do you guys hear the music okay, or am I just singing to myself again? This, this might come down to time. That queen is still up. The infernal tower, I, I think she'll get picked off. I think the attacking queen's going to get picked off before she gets round to the infernal tower, because you'll need to come round to this side. To get the Infernal Tower down. Oh, she goes down to the enemy queen, actually. A 96% two-star. Not bad at all. Let's see how Peng's getting on. So it's five stars so far to SMB. We've got a... What's there's been a Zap Lalo going on here? Mate, I can't right now. It's kind of back-to-back -back hits. Uh, but we can maybe go and have a look at it later on, okay? Um... If you've maxed everything, yes, you should upgrade. If you are rushed, then probably not. That's a pretty good rule to go by. Um, this is looking like another three star. Peng is looking strong. There's one wizard tower left. It's all going to depend on how. I'm saying one wizard. There's two wizard towers left, but there was one that wasn't being targeted yet. Can the warden take out this? The warden is tanking the wizard tower. That's amazing. It's all on cleanup. I think he's got it. This is another, another three star. This is ridiculous. We missed this one. So that's two three stars we've missed so far. We'll try and watch them back. Even if it's at the end of the war, we'll replay them and let them run through. We'll see how this one worked. Kind of getting held up on the king, but they're going to get it, no problem. Guys, get the GGs. Get the three stars in the chat. That is six stars to five. That is mental. Right, have we got a break? Has it all calmed down a little bit? Right. Let's watch this one. This was the first one. This is where Queer is. Let's watch his three star first. And then, if there's no other hits happen, and we get to the end of this one, we'll watch the next one. But flipping it, six stars to five. It's not a bad start, is it? Flipping it. <laughs> This is like you need to warm up to this. Do you know what I mean? I've basically turned the stream on as the war started. We had ten minutes of just them planning, and they've just all gone throwing everything in. Right, what have we got here? Um, we've got zaps have gone down. We've got the Sui heroes coming in on the town hall. Going to get an air defense as well. This is a Lalo, obviously. Um, there's only two air defenses left, so we zapped one of the air defenses, or we, the royal champ maybe got it actually. Queen's gonna get the town hall. She's getting a little bit held up. Oh, we need to go out. I forgot that that was a replay and I could have sped it up a little bit. Let's watch the live hits. Right, blah. Going in on Evie Noah. With another hybrid. Has a blimp this time. And a jump. A jump in the composition. So this queen charge is going to be interesting. So, Yeti up at 2, 
just to clear out and make that funnel, make sure the queen definitely goes down. Looks like these uh, balloons coming in, he tried to get that cannon as well, and that was just to force the queen up and into this infernal tower compartment. Still working on trying to do that, he's used a wizard and now used a miner as well. Not quite finished it off, but the queen should track up. Nice, interesting giant bomb on the outside there. What? That's a... Uh, okay. So once the jump to come... Once her to jump into that infernal tower compartment, even though there was a gap there, but just to guarantee that she goes that way, but the way that he's put it, she's not going to... She's not going to be able to jump into the town hall. She's looking really low as well. We've got two rages down. Got another hit coming in. We might need to, it looks like Unicorns of Love are always hitting second. Might need to wait and watch one of theirs. I don't know, it's difficult. Right, we've changed our Siege Barracks um, away from the blimp. The Queen has finished off that Hound. There's a bit of a freeze used. Um, pops, the war, <laughs> pops the ability and finds a Giant Bomb, as you do. There's Siege Barracks down, um, working on cleanup on the outside there. Hybrid coming in rattling through so he wants the queen to go up towards that side but she's gonna die the queen's gone down the miners have targeted the town hall we've got the healer switch Greetings. shaolin thank you for the follow man ah uh, is that volume working for you guys now nice that's my new set my new alert sounds and they weren't working brilliantly i turned the volume up on all of them I'm still not 100% sure about them, but that sounded a lot better to me. I don't know if you guys could hear it okay. The, um, what have we got going on here? I don't think this is a three, is it? There's far too much splash left to go. Real champ rattling through. She's about to go down to the king. Let's dump it, jump, jump out of this one. Go to the unicorns of love one. Evie Noah, mate, every name is a big name, isn't it? Evie Noah taking on the Infernal Drag. Queen has missed the Infernal Tower. That's not ideal. We've got a second Super Wall Breaker. Uses the Hybrid straight in on that Infernal Tower. Finds a double giant bomb. Queen. Oh, all the healers are down. Queen has gone down to the Enemy King. Oh, uses the Warn ability early because he needs these hogs to definitely get through this town hall. This is this is a save. We're going for a save here. Gets the gets the first star. Gets the second. I don't quite know what went wrong on this hit. But um it looks like an okay recovery. We're looking we're looking safe. What have we got left? It's not gonna three, is it? We've got like one minor left. Royal champ with their ability. And the king. King King could three star. King could finish this. Maybe. Do, 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 do. Mark say it sounds good. Excellent. I'm glad you can hear it. Yesterday I was all proud of them. I played all the all the alerts. And no one could hear them. It was like, oh, that's a bit rubbish. <laughs> I'd made such a big deal of them as well. I was like, wait till you hear this. And I pressed it and I was like, couldn't hear a thing. Right, 83%. So let's have a look at what the scores are looking at now. Eight stars to seven. So still the two, three stars to Unicorns of Love. Look how close they are on percent. Wow, 56 to 55. So yeah, we got an, we got an 83% on that side. A 96 and an 80. Right, okay, so it's two really high percent hits. Right, we'll watch this one in, like, triple speed. No, we won't. <laughs> right, what have we got? Meliodas going in on Requires. Am I saying Requires right? Who knows? Sure, it'll be all right. Uh, another hybrid. Hybrid is the the meta at the moment. Like, I'd say it's becoming more common than Zap Lalo. 
maybe people are defending against that Lalo. Hybrid's maybe slightly more difficult to defend against. So we're seeing it a lot more. Got the other hit going in as well. What do you think? Do we go over to Unicorns of Love? I'll maybe put a vote for the final hit because they both go in at the same time. In fact, they all go in at the same time, don't they? So um, we'll maybe watch the Unicorn of, Unicorn of Love final hit. We'll definitely watch that. Gets a nice draw on the CC where he's going to get the Headhunters out first. And that was drawn with the balloons, so it's probably the other thing that's in there is a hound. Nice little route in for the queen there, being left. These sort of gaps in the walls are designed to sort of throw off path in, but... I mean, if you get the path in right, then they can just walk in, and it saves you troop space. You don't need wall breakers. The healers got quite low there, like... So, Goblins and uh, Hound, the the poison's a bit off there. Hybrid coming in. Siege Barracks has been deployed up at 12 o'clock as well. The Queen's going to be alright. Going to finish off these, uh, these pups, no problem. And she'll probably track back out and around. Maybe picking off this Bomb Tower first, which could be pretty useful. King is doing some good tanking up the top. Against that scatter shot. The warden ability has been used. Um, going through a potential double giant ball spot. And also when the eagle was targeting it. The queen is now beaten on a wall. But she's done some good work like. And she's gotten rid of a nice little bit of splash there. We've got no spells left. Well we've got no heals left sorry. We do have a freeze. Probably going to use the freeze on this scatter. There it is. Scatter shot and king. Both getting frozen. Allowing the royal champ and a couple of miners to come in and do some work. Enemy Royal Champ goes down. This is looking strong, guys. This is another three star. This is mental. Royal Champ ability. Look at the pathing on that shield. That was mental. Neither side are sitting down to this, are they? So, at the moment, we've got two three stars on each side. We'll have to see how Unicorns of Love are doing. There we go, guys. Get the GGs in. And then we'll have a look at what Pingu's doing. Get some GGs in there. Uh, get some hype. This is not a three star, so it's all even again. I'm saying it's not a three star. It's, whoa, it's pretty close. It's just heroes that are left. The the healers, have, that um, Royal Champ was looking so low that healers have kept it up just a little bit. Now we've got a... Uh, We've got the Warden left. Oh, the, the Barbs are tanking the Warden. So the Royal Champ picks off the Warden Tower. Oh, I, don't, I think it's going to be a 99. 98. What, le what else is left? Oh, we've got that gold mine there as well. There's no miners left. It's a 98, 99%. Wow. Guys, that's, that's some rips. That was close. Right. What's going on? 76% <laughs> to 75%. So it's advantage unicorns of love. But. Next two hits need a three star, don't they? This is a big match, man. I don't know what the tables, what the little groups are looking like yet. But. I mean. Yeah. I'm glad I came on a little bit earlier to cover this. I was just going to get on at 7 o'clock. Just cover the, the WCL stuff. But I've jumped on for this. Wow, that's good. Very nice. Um, What hit do you want to watch? Do you want to watch Unicorns of Love one? Could put a poll up, but just tell me. <laughs> that's probably easier. We've watched a few SMB ones. Yeah, let's watch Unicorns of Love, yeah? This is. So who's hitting? Right, we've got Mighty King Alex. And we've got Prince of Dubai. So. The Prince of Dubai. I don't, I've not heard of Mighty King Alex, but I've heard of Prince of Dubai. Big hitter. Uh, he's actually the captain for this team as well. So. 
We'll watch that hit. And then we'll watch the other one back. And then we've got a couple of three stars that we've missed that we need to watch back as well. So we'll let them play as well at the end. Um, I'm not going to press anything yet, though. I'm going to wait. We're going to watch. We'll catch it. We'll catch every last second of uh, Prince of Dubai's hit, okay? Going by normal form, that probably means the SMB are going to hit first. Seeing if we had anything else about SMB there. So who are you playing for, Mark, in uh, in the rookie division? I'll maybe try and make a point of covering some of them. It's all just like there's so many matches going on at the moment. And so many different leagues as well, actually. Just trying to get anything covered by any... Like, just get getting any sort of coverage down. Um, is just, there's always seems to be stuff on. Just hail. That makes sense. In fact, were you guys not... Were you not what the war that was happening today? I'm sure that was the other war that was happening. Or, did, or was it a little bit earlier? I can't remember. Combo of Just Bleed and All Heal. Ah, right, so Just Heal. I like it. I like that. Eight hours from now. Oh, so it's on at the end. End of my stream. Yeah, no, it's too far away. There's no way I'm staying on for eight hours. <laughs> it must be that it's on tomorrow morning or something like that, and that's when I've seen it. That'll be what it is. Right, one minute left. These hits are going to go on in a second. We'll watch, uh, we'll watch Prince of Dubai's hit. And then we'll nip over to Betatron. We'll get some of their stuff. See how they're doing. The, the hit's going in on that side. So Mighty King Alex is in on paying. Here we go. Prince of Dubai going in. 30 balloons, 8 zaps. So we're going to use... We use an extra zap on the Inferno Tower there, I think was the plan. And then we've got the zap and the Earthquake. Um, so that when the Royal Champ Shield pops here, we should be able to take out that Inferno Tower and that Air Defense. We're getting the other Air Defense just with the Yeti, I think. We need the Yeti Mites to pick off this cannon so that her shield will definitely go in the direction that he wants. That should work now. There we go. Shield's going to get popped now. Oof, left that proper tight like. King coming in at the top. He's going to take out the Warden. We've got a Super Wall Breaker in up there as well. He's going to take in the Warden. The Queen's coming in behind. She'll, get, she'll be able to reach the Town Hall. It's getting loads of value out of these heroes. One Yeti has created all that sort of extra, extra footage around, footage, extra coverage around there. What have we got left? So we've like, half the base is down. We've still got 29 balloons. So we will use, there we go, Stone Slammer coming in, going to be targeting the, oh, it's actually changed direction. We wanted it to target this Infernal Tower. Queen's going to come round. Her ability's already popped. We might need to use a freeze, or he's just going to let her burn. Let's the queen burn. Got the scatter shot on the molly. Uses a, uses a freeze on the sweeper. Haste getting in. Freeze up the sweeper and the enemy queen there. Scatter shot's down. That f the sweeper is causing issues. The, um, did the stone slammer pop, but there's no dragon in there. I was expecting a dragon to come out. I think it was an extra hound that ended up coming out. Or maybe just loads and loads of balloons. Queen goes down in the end. There's a lot of balloons, but they're all bunched up. And we've got a, quite a bit of splash left. So. Freeze used on the scatter shot. Baby drag is kind of 
doing quite a lot of work here. Holding up in the middle. Was tanking the scatter shot for a second. Is redirected. Oh, we've got a balloon in on the scatter shot. That scatter shot's going to go down. This is a three star. There's nothing else left. Get the GG's in. Is it enough? Well, in fact, it, it, that, it is enough. It definitely is because they were already ahead in percent, weren't they? So that is... That's the win for Unicorns of Love. It doesn't matter what SMB have done. We will watch SMB's attack anyway. And where what they got it's 13 all. It was it right. Peng on Mighty King Alex, flipping it. With a Yeti a Yeti bowler smash. Four earthquakes. Wow, that is that's amazing. 13 all war. That's brilliant. So we'll speed this one up a little bit. We've got a ward and walk up the top. Use the single Yeti. Then uses the siege barracks afterwards to finish off that funnel and push everything in. Ice golem out in front. Super wall breaker down. Activates the Town Hall with the Earthquakes, but that does weaken it as well. The Town Hall's on about half health. Probably means that the Bowler's Bounce alone is going to get this Town Hall down. Uses the Warden ability perfectly timed as well. He's, he's coming through the middle of two scatter shots here. No worries, Mark. Mate, thanks for stopping by the stream. Hopefully catch one of your wars soon. Rattle through the middle, man. But it wasn't enough. Came down to that, like, that 98% that Unicorns of Love got. Brilliant. The hype exists for a reason, doesn't it? There we go, man. Ah, oh, it's mental. There's there's the confirmation. 96% to 95%. Wow. That's a couple of buildings, man. 